All right, so um, we're working on a new, new style truck here, uh, DT style. So if you own one of these and it's got power running boards, you may find that one day you go to open the door and power running boards come out really slow or retract slow or better yet, they deploy and then don't return back into the vehicle. So the main thing that happens to these is the, the pins that are part of the hinge down here they'll seize up. Now, from the factory, they do come with some lube in there, and the, the pin that goes through rides on, I believe it's a brass bushing. So, I would just keep these lubed up. It's gonna save you from having to replace them or repair them. There is another pin as well. There's, um, up underneath to the shaft that runs to the front where the motor is located. So um, just to keep the keep the board deployed, just leave your door open a bit as long as it sees uh, computer sees that the latch is uh, open and we'll keep the boards deployed. Now wherever you're bringing this vehicle, they should lube these when it's in for service, like oil changes. Um, maybe just mention it. I know they get missed a lot. Um, I see a lot of boards or hinges that get seized, so it's a good idea just to keep them lubed up. It's gonna save you. Over here we got the motor. The motor itself's failed, and it failed because of the pins seizing up. So they get stiff and the board has trouble deploying and returning, and then just basically puts a lot of strain on the motor, burns the motor out. So what you can do is, I've seen this done before where, you know, a truck's out of warranty and this starts happening to you. So the only fix really is to replace the whole assembly, but the problem being, the thing's so expensive that you know, it's like, oh man, what do you do? Well, you can actually press these pins out and clean everything up and lubricate them and press them back together. They're just a press fit. There's no clips or anything. Um, you can either take it to a press or I've seen it done, you know, maybe use an air hammer. Maybe. And the proper attachment. I know that's probably not the right way to do it, but it works. <laughs> um, I guess there isn't really a right way seeing as the proper repair is to just replace the whole assembly. So you can see, if you were to do this, you have to take the motor assembly off. There's just a couple uh, hex bolts in there. You take them off, remove your motor assembly. And that would allow you to move the hinge and then uh, put it in a vise. Drive, drive these out or take them to the press and press them out. And like I say, there's a, uh, I believe it's a brass mesh um, sleeve that's in there. But as you can see, like rust, right? That's that's the culprit, that's what does them in. So clean them up, keep them lubed, right, right from brand new or if, it, if you just bought a truck, I would be checking those out right away. Make sure you get those lubed up so that they last a while without seizing up on you.